In this video we're going to start planking these western red cedar planks onto the keels. Uh, now this side I still have sitting here was the side with the epoxy so this is going to be the inside so I'm going to have to flip these over. But I'm also going to uh, take out these knots and uh, other imperfections. Something like this is a big knot right in the middle. I want to take that out. Maybe something like this I can leave. Uh, things like this we can leave, but anything that's, you know, going to be maybe getting in the way of the structural integrity of these, I want to, I want to take these out. Plus, I want these strips to be different lengths anyway. I don't want them to all be the same length because when we go to join them up, I don't want all the joints in a straight line, so I want to them to be staggered at various places. Now to join these up, I'm not going to do a, a butt joint where you just put two pieces end to end like this. I'm going to cut a, a kerf in here at an angle and glue those up together uh, as, they're, as they're joining. So here's what I have for making a jig to uh, cut that kerf in this wood. The first thing I did was to clamp a piece of 2x6 onto the miter saw and with the miter saw set to a 90 degree cut I first cut the edge of this so or the end of this so that I would get right up against uh, where the saw would be uh, coming here at this at this tip right here so I wanted the saw blade to to come right up to this tip and then after I made this 90 degree cut then what I did is I changed the saw to about an 8 degree angle and then that will allow me to put a piece of western red cedar in here and cut it at this angle. So this will be the, the scarf angle that we have and if I take the, the cutoff piece that we have right here and this cutoff piece, if this was the end of another board, then this cutoff piece will slide right up here to this, and then these two pieces will, will glue together and we'll get a, um, I guess, a, a flush seam right here at the tips. So that's that's how I'm going to get the, the angle. This is about a 8 to 1, uh, so I made this to where this would be about 4 inches, roughly. And I say roughly because I just set the, I did my calculations and it said that the angle should have been a little over 7 degrees. So I just made it 8 degrees. So I haven't measured exactly what this is. But anywhere in here in the ballpark this will be just fine. And as long as I keep this uh, unchanged then I should get uh, the same angle on the other pieces and they should match up just fine. So what I'm doing now is just kind of roughly dry fitting the cedar planks. I still have a little bit on this side to go and I'm just following it along as it comes down here and just cutting them, trying not to waste as, you know, waste as little as possible so the ones on the ends are a little shorter than the ones in the middle that have to go all the way to the tip. But other than that, I'm just cutting these. Now there's uh, some gaps in between here. The bows are not, the, the boards are not completely straight. They're bowed a bit. And that will be fixed up when uh, they're glued in place. All right, so I have all of the cedar planks, a dry cut, and they're just loosely fitting here all the way up to the tip of one of the keels. I'm going to do one at a time and it always helps to really sit back and think uh, at least a few steps ahead and make sure that you know what, what the steps that are being followed are actually going to work a bit and I think that this will um, th this needs to bend a bit to fit the bottom. So I've got the whole side sitting up here and that curve that you see, there's the front of the boat which bends 
up a bit. I mean, it's down now because it's upside down. And the back of the boat also bends up a bit. And so that means that this keel will need to bend. And the direction that it's going to need to bend is the middle needs to be up and the ends need to bend down because this is going to be the, the very bottom. The planks are going to be on the outside. So while I think it can bend, I'm a bit worried about this back end because it's a much, uh, I guess, steeper curve than the front end. So what I'm planning on doing before I start gluing this up is I'm going to raise the middle of this up and that way when I glue it up I can actually get a bend in it. It doesn't have to be exact but as long as I can get it close then that will make it that much easier to fit to the side of the hull later. So the what I did is I measured uh, the deepest part of the hull is right here in the middle and that's coming out to about 12 inches to my waterline mark and the very end down here is about three inches to the waterline mark so there's a nine inch drop so that means it, it has to start here and it has to bend down by about nine inches so what I'm doing is I'm gonna build this little platform right here and the platform is going to be just some two by sixes that I had left over and when I put six of these six layers of these together this gives me a nine inch height so I'm gonna put this in the middle of the keel to raise it up off the the build platform by nine inches and then the back will come all the way down to the the build platform and for the front it will sit on these three pieces to bring it down less of a, of a bend. So this will be about four and a half inches above the, uh, above the build platform in the very front. So that is the plan. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this video together and get this posted. And so you can see the progress and the next video will be all about uh, gluing this together and trying to get some shape to this uh, planking um, while, it's, uh, while it's curing. Alright, that'll be enough for this video. Bye!